Hello YouTubers, Johnny on the spot here. Here to show you how to get wobbly windows and some other special effects on your Windows 7 or 8. Well, what I use to get that, it's called this little icon right here. Star it's from Stardux. It's called Windows FX5. Um I really like the wobbly windows like it was introduced first I believe on um, Ubuntu Linux and I loved it and I always wanted it on Windows because I usually use Windows and I mess around with Linux and so um, I was looking for it and then I finally came upon this little guy so I'll show you exactly how it works um, so you open Windows and you can see how it wobbles and if you go out of it it even has kind of like a fire effect that kind of looks I don't know smoky bubbly or whatever you want to call it but it has a similar effect of the fire effect too that came from Ubuntu Linux too which they don't have that fire effect anymore on Ubuntu Linux anymore um, I think they don't have it on Ubuntu Linux anymore it's because the guy that made it um, did, wasn't getting paid for it or something like that, so he took he took it away from Ubuntu Linux. I I think I think that's what I heard. So, but yeah, I'll um, show you a little more. So see how it just kind of you open things up and it zooms in and out. It has all kinds of you can put it on random effects. So um, let's open it up. Here it is. Um, I actually, when you get it, you can go to um, um, let's go to it actually. You go to start start doc right here and go to Windows FX. And then right here, you can get it totally free um, for only 30 days. But you get it absolutely, absolutely free with everything for 30 days. And after the 30 days, you're gonna have to purchase it. And it's only like 10 bucks, so that's that's nothing. And it's well worth it. Um, so I, I highly recommend it. It makes your Windows so much less boring. You just click it. I'm sure you guys know how to do it and install it. But it has all kinds of um, special effects and um, it really makes things look a whole lot better. So you turn it on here and then you have different tabs of different um, things it controls animation the animations the window management the right click menu the inactive windows the movement and desktop icons um, so you have you can put your automatic um, updates that's highly recommended so things don't go wrong um, keep it in your icon tray if you like so you can always go to it and click on it um, in case you want to make some changes. Um, under the animation you have also different um, sections right here which you know Windows menu, the start menu and movement. Um, so when you go to Windows then it has different tabs the open, the close, the minimize and the restore. I currently have it on burn away that's kind of the burn away effect so when you close it you see how it, it burns out. Um, and then it has all kinds of other ones which if you want you can put on any one or you can pick random it'll just do it randomly um, which I did have it on but I really like the burn away effect so I put it on that and then it on other ones I have it on um, random too so like it doesn't give you the option like on the open it and, and restore to I guess to do on the burn away um, but when you open and close it, like exit out or open it, um, I think it doesn't do it, but <clears throat> when you do open it, 
it does all these other effects that you can have it do. I put it on a random because they're all cool. Um, but I really like the burn away effect, so I put it on burn away on, on all the ones that allow you to put it on burn away, like close and minimize. Um, you could put it on, like I said, you could put it on random and, and have it everything. But it's, it's just as cool um, if you put it like the way I have it on the burn away because you still have the random effects on restore and open on menu it's the same difference um, you can just cl you know close doors distort um, you can put on the default animation which is what it regularly does um, the close see I have it on um, burn away you can pick random if you like you have the start menu and you have the movements window management um, it has different things that you can do to control the um, windows. Um, enable screen edge window resizing, so it'll kind of like resize it or something like that when you go in the window. But I don't have that enabled because eh, I don't. It doesn't. I don't really use it or or want it. I mean, you could you could enable it, um, but you got to mess around with it, you know, and um, see how you like it. Um, enable double click window resize make a make your middle button click the title bar so if you go on the title bar and you click the the menu with your middle mouse button it flips the window and then it gives you um, detailed information about that application um, which is really cool it'll tell you memory usage and um, the GDI and the user object usage and handles um, you can have it windows is is always on top you can do that too to make the application um, always on top of other applications or windows um, so that's a pretty cool um, effect and and pretty handy if you want um, detailed information about it um, right click menu that's the right click menu this thing so see how it just burns away and does whatnot. If I had it on random, it would do random things, but I have it on burn away. Um, and then it gives you all kinds of options. The toggle always on top. It just Windows transparency and it goes on and on and on and on and on, um, which is really cool, really handy. In active windows, you can control all kinds of windows. Active. I don't have any of them enabled because eh, I particularly. Um, don't don't mind it. I like the way it is on default, but um, I plan on probably enabling and messing around with them later on. Um, but it is. Um, but you could get a kind of a, an idea of what it see it does. It'll darken out windows that are, are not active. It'll lighten up the one that you're currently using, um, and automatically minimize inactive windows after a period of time to clean up the desktop. Make inactive windows transparent. So, I mean, you have a lot of options. The movement tab, enable windows, flicks. Um, I think it's something that I have to do like that. See, so mine, my, I have mine currently like if you, you can't, if you throw it, it'll bounce off the edge of the screen instead of going like that. Um, so it doesn't, so you don't like lose your page um, outside the um, monitor. Um, you have all kinds of other options on there. Um, enable windows, momentum dragging, so you can con control it the way it is. Um, you can even do it to where, you know, it, it says instantly stop window moving when you let it go. So, like, if I was to click this and I move it around, I guess I have to, you know, <laughs> um, enable it in order for it to work I think but it, I think it's like when you move it like that you see how it just kinda rolls it will stop as soon as you stop um, fade windows to semi transparent when moving and resizing them so self explanatory it fades it out when you're moving it around but I don't like that I like it like that um, desktop icons you can do what you want with desktop icons. Like for example, it says hide icon shortcuts overlay. You know those little arrows that you have on your um, um, icons. 
so I don't have any of those little shortcut arrows because I think they look stupid and ugly so I checked it and I don't have to worry about those little annoying um, arrows on it so that's what I like about that and you can hide your icons just by right clicking on the desktop and and clicking show icon uh, show desktop icons and they disappear so that's cool um, you can hide the text labels so if you um, so if you have your um, icons showing if you like that you can hide the the text and see it disappears and you don't have to worry about the text which which looks pretty cool but I, I like them there you know because just the way I like it you sometimes you can't tell just by simply looking at the icon what the application or game is so um, I, re I prefer that way um, automatically hide desktop icons unless the desktop has focus so you click that and see they disappear unless it has focus so if you have focus see and you click on the desktop then they show up which is pretty cool see and then and then they disappear when it's not when the desktop is not in inactive but I like it like this it's fine with me you know I just all together I just um, hide them sometimes I'm shown that sometimes I don't um, struggle just have icons visible on double click. Same difference. Make icons reappear with a single click. You can have them single click. So um, that's basically it. Um, this is a really cool application. I like it. I love it. Um, that's why I bought it. I I suggest um, getting the legit copy. I know people try to crack it or whatnot, and you know whatever floats your boat. But I don't. I actually don't think there is any correct versions, anyways. Um, there might be, but um, y even the crack versions, I think you'll run into problems. So I would pr I would suggest that you just buy it because it's only ten bucks, big deal, you know. So um, it's totally worth the money, and you'll totally be satisfied with this application. I love it, I like it, and that's why I bought it. Um, so that's all for um, today for this tutorial. My name's Johnny on the spot. I hope you liked this um, video. If you did, please subscribe and give some love and, and, and put some likes on it. And um, if you have any questions, please leave some comments down below. This is Johnny on the spot once again. Peace. Be free.